No, no, all good. Uh, it was all right, actually, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, we'll see tomorrow now when we arrive actually at the stadium whether that changes, but no, all good, all good today. No, um, no, this group is incredibly driven to to come here and, and, and put in a performance. Uh, you know, next week we'll, we'll, you know, almost look after itself. We get, we get, we get, we got to get tomorrow right. That's the big thing that we've spoken about for a long time. We've had a couple of weeks to prepare for this. Um, we know how tough it's going to be and there's, we're not thinking past uh, tomorrow afternoon um, and we'll make sure that um, we put in the, the performance that, that this needs to, to make sure we get a result and, and then we're, we'll think about next week after tomorrow. I don't think so. I think um, a lot of those guys are, are fairly experienced now and they've, they've got a lot of uh, games under their belt over the years and they've been constantly connected to what we're doing, even though they haven't been always in full training over the last few weeks. So we certainly don't feel like there's any issue there. And, you know, we also feel like we have a very strong bench to uh, to come on and finish the game. And it feels like the timing of the players coming back from injury has nearly been spot on. And the division friend with the Kingston has had the likes of Gary Wingo, Tony Sexton, all back in there. It's really positive. Yeah, well planned by the, the medics. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, think, I think we always knew that this, you know, whenever you've gone through a Six Nations, you, you're never likely to pick the same 23 each week. So we, we, we know that there's always going to be a few things along the way. Um, the great thing is we go to Rome and, and we put in a performance that, that gets us the, the five points and, and Rome is not a not an easy place to go and play. So um, credit to the guys that, that took the field there and, and also credit to the guys that, that didn't and were supportive of those guys that did and, and stayed around and were connected and, and you know, it, it, it massively, um, you know, the massive onus goes on the preparation of the team and how that works with the guys that don't get a chance week in, week out. Um, you know, this week's been excellent in that respect in terms of what they've had to, to do to try and get the team prepared and, and that was no different in the Rome week. Uh, so, you know, it's 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 great that we have some some senior guys coming back in, um, but we're also really pleased with what what the guys did in Rome and to get the result. Yeah, and Donny spoke about that, players spoke about that, Andy spoke about that, that it's a real squad effort. How do you think that happening in the environment? Like players want to play, they want to be in the starting team, but you do get the sense that everybody is sort of pulling for each other. Um, yeah, it's it's tough when in a you know, competition for places is is only going to get get greater. Uh, but I guess you've just got to be honest with players and and, and make sure that they understand what um, what what we feel as coaches that they need to work on to try and increase their chances of getting selection. Uh, and when they do get selected, uh, and guys did that last week. Oh, sorry, in, in against Italy, where they do get selected, they, they take their opportunity, and and you can't ask for anything more than that. Um, you, you can only pick fifteen to start. You can only pick another eight on the bench. But we know that you know, come the World Cup, we're going to need need quite a few more than that to to to, to be successful um, further down the line. So, you know, that is crucial for for any any team that's successful. It's not always. Just the 15 or 23 guys that are lucky enough to get selected it's the guys behind those guys that are working week in week out and preparing them it's the guys in the back room um you know the medics and and everyone that, that works behind the scenes to to get the players in great shape so i think the players really they they, they understand that and, and they get that and they appreciate how much work goes into the preparation that, that they get to to go and perform and that's not always going to take have you been on teams that not always been like that. No, <laughs> I can't remember that far back. So I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure there's yeah certain teams that that's the case. But you know, I think this has always been uh, one of those teams where guys can be themselves and, and they can they can speak up if need be. And um, you know, they, there's, there's an open forum to to make sure that, that everyone is heard and, and and that goes both ways through coaches and players and, and vice versa. So 
it's uh, hopefully uh, you know at the moment it's working for us and we want to you know involve as many players as we can but ultimately we can only pick 23 each week I guess it's more that you know when you've got a couple of guys coming back from from injuries there might be a you know a couple of ways of um, mitigating anything that, that happens during the week or when we've arrived here so it's just more of a of a, an opportunity to uh, bring a few guys along to to make sure that you know if we did lose somebody in a, in a, a certain position that there's a specialized player ready to step into that position and that's probably always been the case but um you know it, it is an opportunity i guess when it's a short flight over and we do get the chance to to keep as many people connected as we can no no I, i'm not sure exactly <laughs> Yeah, I think there's a limit on the, the the amount you can have out on the pitch anyway, so we're, yeah. Okay, happy enough. Is there any kind of embargo question? Yeah, good night. Scotland, obviously, um, it's, it's big moment for them. A triple train on the line. See our whole room in the top. Know it all adds a bit of edge to it. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's huge for both teams, but, but obviously there's there's um, silverware to play for for both of us. Um and you know there's there's some extra motivation potentially for for Stuart Hogg with his 100th cap you know he's been an incredible player for for Scotland over so many years um you know we have our own one of our own players reaching a landmark Gary Gary uh, Ringrose making 50 caps uh, which is no mean feat in today's game uh, but yeah, it, yeah there's lots of little subplots throughout the game uh we got to make sure that we're you know we're disciplined and we don't let the emotion and the occasion get to us and, and we're very um, accurate in what we, what we do and and I guess that's um that's a challenge for both teams making sure that we stay on the right side of the the referee and and uh you know, like I say we're we're accurate and we don't allow the, the the occasion to get the better of us